Clifford. My big red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and had no many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. are falling in the fall. They fall far in the fall. The leaves are falling uh, in the fall. Oh, here comes Clifford. Woo! 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 woo. Yeah. No, Clifford, don't! <sighs> Worry about landing in my pile of leaves. <laughs> Dad! Dad! Miss Carrington wrote a play, and our whole class gets to be in it. A play? Terrific, honey. What's it about? It's called Jane and the Beanstalk, and I'm going to try out for the part of Jane. Ruff, ruff. So when is the audition, Emily? Tomorrow. Clifford's going to help me, and I'm going to work really hard and memorize all my lines. <laughs> Good for you, Emily. Well, you two better get started. Ruff, 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 ruff. Thanks for helping me get ready for my audition. Woo, 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 woo. No problem, Emily. It'll be fun. <laughs> okay, Charlie. You'll be the man who sells me the beans. Cleo, you're the goose that lays the golden eggs. T-Bone, you're my pet cow. And Clifford, you get to be the mean, nasty giant. Okay, everyone, let's get started. Oh, cow, mother says I must sell you. I shall miss you so. <gasps> <laughs> it's only pretend, Clifford. And you're supposed to be mean, remember? Magic beans. I will trade them for your pet cow. Goodbye, old friend. <gasps> Ow! Oh, look! A giant beanstalk has grown in my backyard. I'll climb the beanstalk and seek my fortune. It's the goose that lays the golden eggs. But she is being guarded by that mean, nasty giant. Clifford, mean and nasty. <laughs> I shall save that poor goose from that mean and nasty giant. I must escape down the beanstalk. Safe at last, thanks to my wonderful beanstalk. Woof! Woof, woof, woof! Hooray! Thanks, everyone. I really feel ready for the audition tomorrow. Oh, la la leaves, la la fall. 
<sighs> A job well done. Oh, how'd the audition go, Emily? It was really fun, but I didn't get the part of Jane. Jetta did. Miss Carrington said she has a natural flair for drama. <laughs> that she does. But I'm going to be Jane's mother, and I get to help build the set. That's super, Emily. Miss Carrington asked if some of the parents could help too, with the sawing and stuff. Well, sawing's my specialty, uh, right after raking. See you later, Dad. I've got to practice. Okay, Clifford. I'm going to be the mother in the play, so you have to play the part of Jane. Whoop! Whoop! Can you act a little smaller? Whoop! Whoop! <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. Hello, Emily Elizabeth. Hey, Jetta. Congratulations on getting the part of Jane. Want to practice our lines together? Oh, no thanks. I had to get home for a costume fitting. Oh, have you learned your lines already? <laughs> I haven't. Oh, <laughs> I'll learn them later. First, I had to get my hair done and get some new shoes, but maybe we can practice some other time. Okay, Jetta. Anytime. You're too kind. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Jetta, what are you doing? Well, when you're the lead in the play, you have to know how to bow, Miss Carrington. So I'm practicing my bowing. Shouldn't you be practicing your lines? After all, there are only two days left till we do the play, Jetta. Oh, don't worry, Miss Carrington. I'll learn my lines in time for the play. I promise. I hope we get this done in time. Like Miss Carrington says, the show must go on. It will, with Clifford's help. That's fast painting! Hi, Jetta. Want to practice our lines now? Oh, no thanks. I'm going to learn them later. First, I have to decide which ribbon to wear on opening night. <laughs> well, Clifford's certainly doing his part for the play, isn't he? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! Calm down, boy. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> oh, Clifford! Look what you've done! I'm a mess! This better come off before opening night. <laughs> Okay, is everyone where they're supposed to wear and wearing what they're supposed to be? Huh? 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 What? Uh, I guess I'm a little nervous. Where's Jane? Uh, I mean, Jetta. Oh, cow. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, cow. Mother says I must sell you. I shall... I, I, I shall... I shall what? Jetta? Yes, Miss Carrington? All ready for the play? Uh, yeah, sure. That's a great costume, Jetta. Are you sure you can climb a beanstalk in that? <gasps> beanstalk? Oh, no. We forgot to build the beanstalk. Oh, oh, well, I guess we'll have to cancel the show. No way. The show must go on. You can't do Jane and the Beanstalk without a beanstalk. We don't have to. Clifford's tail makes a great beanstalk. It's a bit unusual, but why not? Why not? Well, because I'm not climbing some furry red beanstalk tail. That's why not. Jetta, we've all worked very hard to put on this show. I think you can be a little flexible. No, I can't. You can't? Why not? Because I... I didn't practice, and I don't know my lines. Jetta, you promised you would learn your lines. 
What are we gonna do? We have a full audience out there. Well, maybe somebody else knows the lines. Somebody else? Like who? Emily knows the lines, Miss Carrington. You do? Uh-huh. Okay, then. The show will go on. Oh, Cal, Mother says I must sell you. I shall miss you so. Oh, dear. I never should have traded my pet cow for those magic beans. Oh, look! A giant beanstalk has grown in my backyard. I am home safe at last, thanks to my wonderful beanstalk. I have to admit it, you did a good job, Emily Elizabeth. Thanks, Jetta. Probably should have practiced harder and not relied so much on my good looks and natural talent. You did make a really great cow. But I think the real star of the show was Clifford, the big red beanstalk. <laughs> Story, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Rainy Day. One day, Speckle went walking in the rain. He walked past Darnell, trying to stay dry. Speckle invited Darnell to join him under his umbrella. Then Speckle saw Luna, and he invited her to join them under the umbrella, too. As they walked by the brook, they spied Ravi and Reba. But there was no more room under Speckle's umbrella. So Speckle invited everyone to climb in and they all floated downstream in their umbrella boat, happy and laughing together. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? Good morning, Miss Lee. Hey, what? <laughs> it's Clifford. <laughs> He's using that tree to scratch a very big itch. <laughs> what other kind of itch would Clifford have?
he does it, Clifford. Maybe you ought to do something about that itch, huh? Look at all this dust and dirt. Where does it all come from, I wonder? Oh, we know where that came from. <laughs> Poor Clifford. He really looks itchy. He sure does. <laughs> Maybe he should see Dr. Din, the new veterinarian. Huh? Right. If he keeps on scratching, we'll take him to see the vet. Oh, no! The giant seaweed monster has me in his evil clutches! Someone save me! Never fear! Super T-Bone is here! Oh. Whoa. My hero. <gasps> hey, what's going on? Hiya, Clifford. What's with the itching, big guy? <laughs> it's a sorry I have this itchy patch and I can't stop scratching. <laughs> Emily wants to take me to the veterinarian. I've never been before. <gasps> but it doesn't sound like fun. You know what I heard? I heard that the veterinarian and the groomer are best friends. And you know I don't like the groomer. <sighs> Trust me. You don't want to go to the vet. Well, if Emily doesn't see me scratch, she won't take me to the vet. So all I got to do is stop scratching. Exactly. Or you could just go see the vet. Remember, don't let Emily see you scratch. Hey, Clifford. I was just going to the library. Want to come? Whoa, whoa. Hiya, Cleo. T-Bone. <laughs> So how's that itching, boy? Phew. I guess that old itch has stopped bothering you, huh, boy? Can't I just scratch a little bit, Cleo? No, Clifford. Emily will be coming out of the library any second now. But I'm so, 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 so itchy. Yeah, Clifford, no! <laughs> so, Clifford's waiting outside for you, is he? Um, yeah. You know, he seems to have a little itching problem today. Mm-hmm. Clifford, are you itching again? <laughs> Why were you rolling like that? <laughs> You guys were just playing. <laughs> you're sure you're not itchy? <laughs> Come on, let's go home. Emily, is Clifford still itching? No, Samuel. I haven't seen him scratch all day. <gasps> That's it. Higher. Higher. Over to the left, Cleo. Cleo, 
T-Bone? Guys? Hey, hang on, Clifford. We're taking a rest. We'll be right there. Hurry, it itches. Just hold on, Clifford. You can do it. <laughs> no, I can't. <gasps> That'll work. Please stop scratching. You're causing a tidal wave. It's time to go to the vet, Clifford. Oh. She's gonna make you feel much better. You'll see. Okay, boy. You'll see. Poor Clifford, down at the vet's office all alone. He's not alone. Emily's with him, and Emily would never let anyone hurt Clifford. It's gonna be okay, boy. Really. Why, this must be Clifford. I... It's okay, Clifford. She's gonna make you feel better. Goodness, you're a big boy, aren't you? I just moved here myself, and I've been looking forward to meeting you. Emily tells me you've been really itchy. I just want to take a quick look. May I? Hmm. He seems to have a rash. Is that bad? Nothing a little cream won't fix. Well, it's gonna take a lot of cream to cover Clifford's back. True, but I think I know how we can do this. What's going on down there? What are they doing to him? Gee, Cleo, maybe they're just stopping his itch. I can't take it anymore. I gotta go see for myself. Okay, bring it in. We'll take care of this once and for all. Oh, that can't be good. What are they doing to Clifford? Okay, that's good. I think he likes it, Cleo. His tail sure seems happy. Thank you so much for helping, Clifford. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've made a friend for life. <laughs> Dr. Din is a great veterinarian. Aren't you glad we went to see her? Mm -hmm. I know you were kind of scared. I was a little scared the first time I went to the doctor, too. But doctors are there to help us, just like Dr. Din helped you. And I always want to take good care of you, because you're Clifford, my big red dog. know that playing is a lot more fun when we share with our friends. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is sharing. It's mine! Uh, no, it's mine! Oh, it's mine! Uh, mine! I say it's mine! Uh, whoa! Ooh. What's going on, T-Bone? I found this toy first, but Cleo thinks it belongs to her. No way! I found it and it's mine! Maybe instead of fighting over that toy, we can all share mine. Well, okay. 
Great! Here you go, Cleo. <laughs> Catch, big guy. Woof, woof, woof. This is fun. Yeah. Yeah. When friends share with friends, everyone is happy. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is sharing. 